Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Full Media Part 38, Looking Ahead Part 2. In today's episode, we set out to complete putting the arpeggios on this composition, which we began in the last stream. We also, in listening, decided we wanted to use some idea of overlaying arpeggios. So we were already bringing them up like this. Let's solo that. Solo the arpeggio here. But we wanted to overlay them. So we did that. We also wanted the idea of a cadenza. Now it's not exactly a cadenza, but a cadenza is usually where one of the instruments takes the lead and we have a very nice uh, start here in the introduction it goes like this and that ends on an A flat and at the very end they end on an A so it's a very pleasing uh, beginning and end that kind of match each other. So we did that, and we also tuned how they transitioned between the sections. And then we finally updated the animation. So what we would do is play for you where the animation is at the moment, and then that'll bring us home. That concludes today's stream. What we notice in watching the animation um, 
when there are no notes playing, it defaults to red. And so there's a very visual separation. Remember, there's three sections. And at each section, it defaults to red. So visually, it matches what we're hearing in the transitions between the three sections. And that's kind of pleasing. Another thing that really stands out is we're driving the star field with the, uh, we're driving it with uh, the volume of the overall piece and we're driving the kaleidoscope iterations, which is number of reflections. So it's almost like the kaleidoscope is a tuba bell that represents that deep, the contrabass and the horn, somehow those together sound more like a tuba than the tuba does on this program, to be honest. And so the, the, the bell is vibrating as, as it gets loud and and uh, we used a uh, we used a center blocker in here to see we're covering up the center so you can't see that yeah there it goes and that way the music plays that the, these little tracks play inside of it sure they do yeah they do here. If we didn't hide it, it would be visually confusing. See, that's confusing. That when you put the black hole, the black hole in the middle, it looks cool. So we really interacted with the animation a lot orally adding a way of how we experience this music the the visual as well as the aural get added so that's pretty cool so our next steps are to keep listening to where the composition wants to go uh, we're gonna render the movie and our good old favorite to be determined so that ends today's stream Thank you, as always, for your time, attention, curiosity, and interest. We look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Please do come back. And as always, keep on streaming. <laughs>